everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable equations. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve. x square d square plus x d minus 4 into y equals to x square. So, we are given a cautious equation. Okay. And also, this equation in with variable equations. Okay. Here, we are having variable equations in this equation. So, we are going to reduce this to a differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. Given Cauchy's equation x square d square plus x d minus 4 into y equal to x square. Put x equals to e power z, then log x equals to z for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then x d equals to theta, x square d square equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now this equation becomes theta of theta minus 1 plus theta minus 4 into y equal to replace x by e power z we will get e power z whole square then theta square minus theta plus theta minus 4 into y equal to e power 2z here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and we will get theta square minus 4 into y equal to e power 2z. See this is a differential equation with variable sorry constant equation. So we have reduced the given differential equation with variable equations to a differential equation with constant equations. Right and also this is of operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Which is linear equation, sorry, which is in operator form. F of theta into y equals to q of z. Where f of theta equals to theta square minus 4. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus y. We will find yc using the auxiliary equation okay here we need to find yc and yp so first we will find yc using the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta theta square minus 4. Let's replace theta differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4 equals to 0, right? We can write this 4 as 2 square. So this of a square minus b square form we can write it as a plus b into a minus b equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equals to minus 2. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2, right? Then m equals to minus 2 plus 2 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. So, we got roots which are real and distinct. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. We know that when two roots are real and distinct, say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then yc looks like c1 e power equal root into z, sorry, c1 e power 1 root into z, the c2 e power another root into z. Okay? Fine. See why you are writing z here? Because we are having a differential equation in theta and z, right? Theta is a differential operator with independent variable 
z right so here we are having independent variable z for that purpose we'll write yc in terms of z and later we'll change in terms of x now coming to our complementary function y c equals to c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 e power another root into z. Then y c becomes c1 e power minus 2z plus c2 e power 2z. Now we need to write in terms of x right by replacing e power z by x. So in order to replace e power z by x we need to write e power minus 2z as e power z power minus 2 and e power 2z as e power z power 2. Right now we can replace e power z by x and we'll get c1 x power minus 2 plus c2 x square. Okay, we can just leave like this. We can just leave it like this or we can write x power minus 2 as 1 by x power 1 by x square, right? Using x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then we'll get y c equals to c1 by x square plus c2 x square. So we got y c now. Let's find y p. Therefore, y c equals to c1 by x square plus c2 x square. Let's now find yp. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We are having f of theta and q of z where f of theta is theta square minus 4 and q of z is equal to z. So this is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form where f of theta equals to theta square minus 4 right now compare e power 2 z with a power e power a z then we'll get a equals to 2 for a equals to 2 find f of a which is equals to f of 2 equals to replace theta by 2 then we'll get 2 square minus 4 which is equals to 4 minus 4 is 0 so by replacing theta's Theta by 2 in the denominator will get 1 by 0 into e power 2z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. Right? So, we should not take theta 2 now. So, what we have to do? Since f of 2 equals to 0, so we will write one independent variable and find the derivative of theta square minus 4 that is f of theta we will find f dash of theta which is 2 theta right derivative of theta square is 2 theta minus derivative of a constant with respect to z is 0 which is equals to 2 theta and it is a non-zero term so we can replace denominator by 2 theta into e power 2z now find f dash of 2 we will get 2 into 2 which is equals to 4, non-zero, right? Now we can replace theta by 2 since f dash of 2 is non-zero into e power 2z is equals to z into 1 by 4 into e power 2z, right? Which is equals to z e power 2z by 4. So we got yp in terms of z. We got yp equals to z e power 2z by 4. But we have to write in terms of x, right? So we'll replace e power z by x and z by log x. For that purpose, we need to write e power 2z in terms of, sorry, we have to write e power 2z as e power z whole square. So that it will be easy to replace e power z by x in the next step, okay? Then, 
y p equals to replace z by log x will get log x into replace e power z by x will get into x square by 4. This equals to x square log x by 4. So this is our required y p. We got y p and y c. Let's write the general solution now. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 by x square plus c2 x square and yp is x square log x by 4. So this is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.